Newcastle Retirement Home in Omaha is again closed to visitors after a recent COVID outbreak. Facility management tells 3 News now that 11 staff members and 15 residents have contracted COVID, with cases starting up last week. Some of them are hospitalized. Monday, state officials say they're assisting those facilities. This uh, financial uh, help could not come at a better time. Governor Ricketts says the federal government and the state are increasing Medicaid reimbursement and will in total give long-term care facilities around $40 million in extra dollars. This is a significant amount of money. Nursing and assisted living homes have taken on extra costs due to the pandemic, such as PPE. The aid also gives them extra cash to keep staff. In my mind, the ability for a provider to uh, maybe increase wages if they need to, maybe to pay some um, retention incentives if they would choose to, and to probably recruit some more people. Thankfully, no facility in the state has closed due to the pandemic. State officials hope this money keeps all of the long-term care facilities up and running. Substantial financial support like we're discussing today will have an absolute and immediate impact on their ability uh, for business operations to have survivability attached to them. John Kepper, 3 News Now.